What's up, you two? So Adidas made headlines earlier this week when it announced that it had signed Beyonce to an endorsement deal that promises signature sneakers and a relaunch of Beyonce's Ivy Park clothing line. And of course, signing one of the biggest celebrities in the world is no small feat. And as you might assume, Adidas was not the only footwear brand trying to work with Beyonce. News reports from ESPN's Nick DiPaola claim that Beyonce was also receiving offers from Jordan Brand, Under Armour, and Reebok. Nick DiPaola claims that Beyonce walked out of a meeting with Reebok due to his lack of diversity and representation. By the way, Reebok is actually a subsidiary of Adidas. Beyonce, yes, Beyonce has signed a deal to partner with Adidas, and this is reviving one of her personal brands as well. Give us all the details. We need to know about Beyonce. Everybody's excited about Zion, and I think there's a lot of people saying this might actually be more influential and more impactful for Adidas signing Beyonce. I mean, we're talking about clearly one of the biggest superstars in all of entertainment. In the um, world, in the world. world. In anything, any, any industry. Yeah. Fame and so much. <laughs> uh, wait. I, I, I never, in covering shoe deals, I never thought I'd be referring to a hive. Yes. But, but this is now a thing. Um, and I think if you look at Beyonce, you know, she has 126 million followers on Instagram. That's oh. more than all 36 Adidas accounts combined. Um, and so the visibility you get right away, um, it's incredible. But for her, it really goes beyond that. Um, it's not just about putting her name on a shoe and here's the new Adidas Beyonce one or whatever they end up calling it. Um, you know, it's about having an imprint on the company, um, impact in terms of diversity. I hadn't heard a great story about how, you know, throughout this process over the last year or two, she had discussed with Under Armour, um, with Reebok as well. Uh, Jordan at one point was interested in maybe partnering with her. And she had a meeting at Reebok and they had a whole presentation of everything, potential products, how this could all look. And she kind of took a step back and said, is this the team that will be working on my product? And somebody said, yes. And she said, nobody in this room reflects my background, uh, my skin color, and where I'm from and what I want to do. And so she kind of took a step back and left, and then, and then it did not come to terms. I, 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 that's an amazing story. Yeah, because so, it's one thing to talk about, oh, I want representation, I want diversity. Mm -hmm. But for a company not to realize, by the way, with Beyonce's track record, we better put people in the room. We better elevate people who can do the job. And to be able to do the job, you have to be coming from where she's coming from. Yeah, I mean, and, and some of the stuff that's been put out by some of these brand, brands with the blackface and stuff like that. And I wonder, there's no way you had, every company should have a diversity program. Of and, and pass, you know, some of that stuff through. There's no way there's diverse people inside this, this brand and will allow stuff like that to, to get out to the public and cause this uproar. So... Yeah, kudos to Beyonce for taking that stand. Right, and Adidas, obviously, for coming through for what she did, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and I think, and you know, obviously, as, as one of the key featured Adidas guys, I mean, that's a big kind of initiative across the Adidas brand right now. Um, different activations through their legacy program, different community things around. Um, it's not so much just partnering with the biggest names in sport and launching a new shoe. It's how do you really impact people, and that's something that I think the Beyonce partnership is really going to bring to life and, and do a lot of great stuff around. Yeah, now, NBA I mean, players will want to buy Beyonce shoes. <laughs> yeah, you look, look at the success that Kanye's had with the Yeezys, and I'm sure, and, and Beyonce is even, you know, a bigger star than Kanye and being part of this brand. I'm sure she's had some conversations with Kanye because he is a part of the Adidas family and ventured off and is doing his own thing. So um, it's interesting to have Kanye and, and, and Beyonce a part of Adidas. Part of, part of your Adidas family. You have to get some That's right. Beyonce ones. There we go. Yesterday, Beyonce released a statement which covered why she chose to work with Adidas. It says, this is a partnership of a lifetime for me. Adidas has had tremendous success in pushing creative boundaries. We share a philosophy that puts creativity, growth, and social responsibility at the forefront of business. I look forward to relaunching and expanding Ivy Park on a truly global scale with proven dynamic leader. So when Beyonce referred to social responsibility, now we know that she may have been referring to the responsibility of giant corporations like Adidas and Reebok to have diversity in their workforce, including the creative teams that work directly with celebrities like Beyonce and Kanye to create the products that influence pop culture. And while it's easy for our people to rally behind Beyonce because we understand what she's doing, of course, some people had to question her tactics and imply that what she did was racist. Like this person who said, so she rejected a deal because they weren't black, but white people are the racist ones? Got it. 
And then somebody with some sense responded, there's nothing racist about it. Diversity and representation are important. And then the original poster responded, let a white person refuse a deal because there weren't white people in the meeting and tell me how that goes. And then this person responded, white people have been excluding people of color from things for ages, centuries, okay? This wasn't a meeting for Coles, bruh. Reebok knows what Beyonce brings to the table and they know her audience, so the lack of diversity is embarrassing on their part. Personally, I agree that Beyonce's decision to walk out on Reebok was not racist. For a company like Reebok to exclude people of color from their creative team is what seems racist to me. Reebok knows that the primary target market for Ivy Park is people of color. So for them to plan to use Beyonce to market to people of color but not actually employ any other people of color on their creative team or marketing team is what sounds racist to me. So for Beyonce to call Reebok out on their racism makes sense to me. I also want it to be known that Reebok is denying that Beyonce ever walked out on a meeting with them because of lack of diversity. A rep for Reebok told TMZ, the report that Beyonce walked out of a meeting with Reebok due to lack of diversity is categorically false. Our discussions with Beyonce and her team continue for several months after our initial meeting. We are disappointed that false information is being reported as fact. Personally, I'm not surprised that Reebok would deny that Beyonce walked out on one of the meetings, especially if the rumor is she walked out because there was a lack of diversity, because Reebok specifically uses hip-hop artists and other people of color who influence the community, like Cardi B. Reebok specifically uses people of color to market their products. So if it gets out there that they don't have people of color behind the scenes in their board meetings and things like that, then it could severely influence their brand. So again, I'm not surprised that they're denying it, but in my opinion, just because they're denying it doesn't mean that it didn't happen. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Beyonce walking out on Reebok because of the lack of diversity on their creative team. Do you believe the report that Beyonce walked out of the meeting once she saw that the creative team she would be working with had no people of color? And do you think Reebok is just trying to cover their behind now? Or do you think it's not true and this reporter, Nick DePaula, is just making it up? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. You can also talk about celebrity news and express your opinion on the Ask Kirby mobile app. You can use it to discuss your favorite celebrities and get advice all in one app. The celebrity gossip does get a little messy, so just remember it is allegedly and it's completely anonymous. No email or registration is required. You just download the app and jump right into it. And it's free and available for both iPhone and Android. Hey there, Layla. I've got some tea for you, girl. And it's hot, fresh, and messy. With the Ask Herbie app, you can now sit back and sip some tea or share some tea all anonymously. And while you're there, you can even anonymously request advice or give advice to others on anything from relationships to everyday issues. Plus, listen to Herbie as he picks his favorite topics and replies to them himself in the Herbie Says section of the app. It's easy to join the Ask Herbie community. Just download the free app on your Android or iPhone device and jump right into the party. No email address or registration is required. And remember, it's completely anonymous. So what are you waiting for? Download Ask Herbie today. That's it for the video, but if you want more from me, head on over to Facebook where I'm launching my new Facebook show, Honey Child. Honey Child is where I'll be sharing more celebrity news and entertainment stories and doing a little girl chat. So head on over to Facebook.com slash Layla Lynn TV one and hit the like button. Attention YouTubers, you've asked and I'm delivering. I'm sharing with you step by step my secrets to making money on YouTube. And my free guide, How to Make Money on YouTube, is the first step to learning exactly what to do to make money on YouTube. So go to my new website, howtomakemoneyonyt.com to download your copy today. The link is here on the screen, it's in the description box, and it's in the comments, so you can't miss it.